At Bluebeam, we're always talking about how review is more than just a PDF editor, but it's important to point out that there are some pretty helpful features included in review that can help you edit and finalize your PDFs. You can access most of the page editing options under Document and Pages, or by right-clicking in this Thumbnails tab. If you don't see the Thumbnails tab here in the left panel, you can open it from the Tab menu. Reorder pages by clicking and dragging their thumbnails around like this. You can also cut or copy and paste pages from this menu. Some other options available from this Pages menu are Extracting Pages, Replacing Pages, Deleting Pages, Rotating Pages, Cropping Pages, and Numbering Pages. To quickly insert a blank page that has the same properties as the active page here, click this icon. To insert one or more blank pages of a different size, style, or template, choose Insert Blank Pages from that right-click menu in the Thumbnails tab or from the Pages menu. You can also insert pages from existing PDFs, like this. Another way to bring two or more PDFs together is through the Combine PDFs feature under File. Select the PDFs to combine, and adjust their order with these arrows, or sort by any of these options. To apply headers and footers to your PDF, go to Document, Pages, Headers and Footers. Here you can add custom text, or select page numbers, dates, Bates numbers, or file data. The positioning of the header or footer is represented by these dashed blue lines here and can be adjusted over here. Here you can specify a page range for the header or footer. To edit a PDF's file properties, make sure the PDF file itself is selected, not a markup, and open the Properties panel. You could also open the Settings menu and click Document Properties. In either of these places, you can add in or edit your pertinent information, and what you have here can then be referenced in your headers and footers or your text stamps. Now let's talk about Spell Check in Review. If you turn on Enable Spell Check under Preferences, Review will underline misspelled words as you add annotations. And when you correct the misspelled words, the squiggly underlines will go away. Right-click on a word to view spelling suggestions. To check the spelling in all markups and form fields in your PDF, go to Edit, Spelling, Check Spelling in Markups and Form Fields. This dialog box will appear, indicating a word not found in the dictionary, and will show a list of suggested replacements you can choose from. It's important to note that the spell check option I just showed you will not find or correct misspelled words in the PDF's underlying content. To do that, go to Edit, Content, and turn on the Edit Text Mode by clicking this button. 
All images and non-editable items will be grayed out, and all the spelling mistakes that review finds will be underlined. Now you can right-click for spelling suggestions, correct the spelling mistakes, or edit any of the other text that you'd like. To leave edit text mode, click the escape key on your keyboard. Alternatively, you can go to Document, Review, and click Markup Spelling Mistakes. Review will search the document and mark all spelling mistakes it finds in the underlying content. Finally, Review's color processing allows you to adjust the colors in a PDF's content. Go to Document, Process, Color Processing. There's a preview at the bottom here that shows you the before and after. Here you can choose from a few process types. Grayscale will convert all the colors to shades of gray depending on luminosity. Black and white will basically convert all content to black with a white background. And this option allows you to manually adjust luminosity, saturation, and hue. Modify Colors allows you to select and change individual colors in the vector content. Colorize is very similar to the grayscale option, except it allows you to customize the color range used for the conversion. So, instead of the lines changing to shades between black and white, they'll change to shades between the two colors you choose. You can also use color processing on a PDF with images like this one. Just make sure to select Process Images to apply the effects to the images. The Mask Images option is best demonstrated with the Snapshot tool. I'll take a snapshot of some text from this scanned PDF and paste it on top of this image. You'll see that the snapshot image is blocking out what's underneath it. But never fear, Mask Images is here. Select the snapshot, open the Properties panel, and click Change Colors. Find Mask Images, choose the color you want to mask out, the white from the background, and adjust the tolerance until you can clearly see the checkered pattern behind the text. Click OK and that white background will be masked out. So now you can clearly see the rest of the PDF behind the text. Those were just a few of the many features that make Review a great PDF editing tool. Make sure to check out the rest of the resources on our website to learn more about how Review can help you improve your workflow. Thanks for watching, and go get them, Bluebeamers!